Hello Truth Seekers and welcome back to our channel. Join us as we uncover the surprising truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Today, we bring you the latest royal news that will leave you astounded. Let's discuss Prince Harry's recent actions, which have caused quite a stir due to his financial requests from British taxpayers. Can you believe the boldness of this red-headed individual? Before we delve into this revelation, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications if you haven't already. Our upcoming content promises to be explosive and riveting. To set the record straight, this privileged individual chose to relinquish his royal responsibilities and relocate to California with his equally entitled spouse, Meghan Markle. Their move was primarily driven by the pursuit of wealth and influence, under the guise of being mistreated. And now, even after leaving his royal duties, Harry has decided to take legal action against the government to ensure that hardworking Britons continue to finance his security detail each time he visits the UK. Isn't this outrageous? The antics of the struggling Sussexes have reached new heights. While ordinary citizens must cover their own security costs, Prince Harry believes he is entitled to special treatment simply because his grandfather was born into a family of privileged individuals who obtained wealth and status without merit. However, that's not all. Prince Harry is not only seeking taxpayer funding for his security but has also been grabbing headlines for his various money-making endeavors. From lucrative book deals to high-profile interviews, it appears there is no limit to his efforts to profit from his royal connections. Additionally, let's not overlook Meghan's equally persistent pursuit of fame and fortune. Together, they portray themselves as victims while exploiting their royal affiliations for financial gain. This double standard is perplexing. How can they anticipate sympathy while they continue to reside in luxury and demand preferential treatment? It is a disregard for every hardworking citizen striving to make ends meet. Their actions showcase a lack of understanding and empathy for the everyday struggles of the average person. And regarding their supposed dedication to philanthropy and social causes? It seems more like a convenient facade for their self-serving motives. While they preach about equality and justice, their conduct reflects entitlement and privilege. It is time for them to face the repercussions of their actions and acknowledge they cannot have it both ways. Greetings to all truth seekers, welcome back to our channel, where we uncover the startling realities within the glamorous realm of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Today, we bring you a story certain to provoke strong emotions. We are delving into the recent bold actions of Prince Harry. Before we immerse ourselves in this revelation, kindly hit the subscribe button and enable notifications if you haven't done so already. You won't want to miss the compelling content we have in store for you. Now, let's proceed. Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, has once again found himself in the midst of controversy. This time, it's due to his perceived efforts to benefit from British taxpayers. The audacity of this grifting, ginger, is beyond belief. It appears that with every turn, a new scandal emerges involving Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle. Harry and Meghan left Britain soon after they made the announcement they would be stepping down from their duties as senior royals, moving to California and seeking independence, and relief from the constant media attention intolerable to them. Now, it appears that their new way of life is more about chasing money and power than the freedom that they were more than happy to talk about. The whole orchestrated charade, featuring a smear campaign belied by its ultimate disappointment as Poor Me, Compassion Play, elegantly danced with interviews and appearances that hinted at telegenic future endeavors, has been grand theater. Harry actually sued the United Kingdom government, demanding that taxpayers continue to pay for his security whenever he visits the UK, this after he has left royal duty. This smells like some kind of PR stunt by unhappy Sussex. If he is entitled to demand whatever he wants then should he also be allowed to dip his hand in the till of public cash? Prince Harry argues that the taxpayer should cover his security costs, but if ordinary people pay for their own security, where is the sense in his logic? A type of logic that ultimately treats his royal blood as the full justification of special exasperation and demand, 
just as it did for most of British history but many are now quick to find it hypocritical and quite incorrigible. Harry suing UK government is a UK filed kick in the teeth why a rich prince thinks he is entitled to free state security at a time when others up and down this country are struggling, is disgraceful. Yet despite having a choice to reclaim his life on his own terms, he seems to want to have his cake and eat it when it comes to aspects of royal protectlism. Their desire for privacy is transparently disingenuous as they are also trying to capitalize on their deep-seated fame. What they are doing reeks of wanting to have the benefits of royal life without actually having to fulfill any parts of the commitment it entails. They are further characterized by their continued attempts to use their former royal status to their advantage through legal actions. In conclusion, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are still getting backlash from people who think the two are exploiting the royal family and using it as a means of income gain. They are chasing the wealth and the fame but it never seems to stop and there is a feeling of entitlement that carries on in the story. As always, we will keep bringing you such information and facts about the news, keep reading our coverage and stay enlightened. Even though he was born with a silver spoon in his mouth, Harry seems to portray himself as a victim of his own privileged circumstance within the royal family. In short, this privileged prince is now in a massive bind and now that he has been stripped of royal security in the wake of resigning from his official duties. If Harry is truly distressed about the need to take extra precautions during UK visits to keep his family safe, maybe he should just stay away. He chose to leave Britain in the firm, so tough luck if he faces the consequences rather than special pleading to the government. He is not a full-time royal now so is just a former royal looking to have his cake and eat it too. The implication that Harry is in danger is nothing more than a red herring. If he really was concerned about national security, he would stop speaking with every TV show with a camera and a microphone. For the past few years he has been doing very, very open interviews where he talks about stuff like the family dysfunction and private conversations. This continued airing of personal grievances out in public only serves to weaken the very family he professes to love this is clearly a calculated plea for victim status. If Harry really was concerned about his own safety as well as that of his family, he would value his privacy, and respect it as such, rather than air every dirty grievance and every last, supposedly private, detail in the most public way possible. In addition, his actions present a large contradiction. For one, he clearly cares about his security and privacy, one one level, but he also loves drama and the public spotlight, on another. That double standard is not only hypocritical, but it also hurts the relatively few people who take Rubio's concern seriously. When he is consistently in the spotlight, it is hard to take his security concerns seriously. Ultimately, it seems Harry is simply pursuing a certain sort of lifestyle, rather than acting from any genuine sense of terror or drama. He wants all the perks of being royal, none of the ills, the love without any prior judgment, and the sympathy with no give. The classic Mike Patton statement end of the story, it's time for him to face the music of his choices, it's time for him to realize the world does not revolve around him. So if Harry really wants his family to be safe, Maybe it's time for him to live a quieter life away from the scrutiny of the media and face the consequences of his actions. The world has far too serious problems already without having to also worry about His Royal Highness's publicized intrigue. All this does is make him and his family easy targets. Maybe, except that desirable Netflix deal is worth more than his kids, isn't it, Harry? But so far, the only real danger to Harry's family has been the ongoing publication of his own intensely intimate royal revelations disguised dishonestly at the sharing of his truth. That level of self-aggrandizing is really a marvel to behold. Harry's inability to put his family's safety above his own need to find personal happiness, and then expect British taxpayers to also fund his protection is the lack of responsibility being shown in multiple ways. Rather than putting personal safety first, his actions seem like the narcissist that he is wanting to hold on to his sense of importance. The prince has set his sights on making millions by linking his brand with the wave of popularity surrounding the royal family in the US after he and Meghan Markle stepped down from royal duties. But, then again, 
he can't have his cake and eat it too. Should he cash in on royal status, he should also accept the duties of paying for his own security the same as any other rich public figure. It is hypocritical to claim a right to privacy while using the royal family's secrets to earn a respectable amount of money. Or the alternatives of how far will Harry go to be known or make a few dollars. With all these developments, we can all not help to wonder why he is calling for protection. Is it a vein of real safety or some more self-promotion to keep themselves in the headlines with Meghan? In the first case, these are just very attractive girls who chase the media fuss, in the second, it's exactly that, a well-thought-out pursuit of relevance, even at the cost of their own values. Amid this sensational era of monetized minutiae, it appears Harry is managing to walk a tightrope of public sympathy and public thrashing. There are those who believe he is a brave whistleblower exposing the royal family for what it is, but there are also those who see a desperate man clinging to the tatters of a royal identity he reportedly once renounced. This tiresome contradiction is clear to see. What do you say, according to you? Leave your comments, they welcome is Harry a heartbroken victim, or playing a victim for gain? I appreciate your input and am looking forward to your views on this. Stay tuned for even more hair-raising tales and shocking expose videos on our YouTube channel make sure to get the latest news about the royal family. Like our Facebook page to get the day's most important event delivered straight to your social timeline. Thank you for watching. That depends on your definition of a compensating factor, which is fine with me, as spicy royal family updates are on the way. Goodbye for now.